Live this morning, and Gabby, we're hearing that trooper got a pretty nasty bump on his head. Yeah, you know, some scary moments for that trooper. The good news is he is going to be okay. Now, DPS tells us this all started right here just after 1.30 this morning. They say he pulled over a couple because of a registration violation. Now, he went when he went to go check on the info of both the female driver and the male passenger, that's when he found out that the passenger had a felony warrant. So he goes to take that man into custody, and when he does, he gets the chance to put the handcuffs on one hand when the passenger decides to strike him. That leads to a fight. They fall to the ground. That's when the, the driver decides to jump in on the action, jumps on the back of that DPS officer. Now, luckily, troopers were close by, uh, but the man got away for a, for a short time. They were able to arrest him at a QT right across the street. But uh, talking to DPS, this could have been much worse. His head hit the ground a couple of times, and he's got some scuffs and, and scrapes from the asphalt, from fighting on the asphalt, and I think his uniform is torn. Now, that, uh, that woman and that man were both taken into custody uh, right now on assault charges, uh, as well as the registration violation. Now, uh, out here, there were also two others that were taken into custody right now, and DPS was trying to gather some information on the part they played in it uh, through scanner traffic. We have not confirmed this, though, but uh, the man, when he had run across the street, had already jumped into another vehicle getting ready to leave. So, uh, as we said, luckily that that trooper is okay. He was taken into the hospital just as a precaution, but uh, he seemed to be okay when he left here. Ladies. What a wild scene. Gibby, thank you. Well, this morning, another man is behind bars after leading police on a crime spree through Phoenix. This started with a shooting and ended with a car crash, leaving several people hurt. The suspect is 27-year-old Robert Allen Gabbard. Police say he tried to rob a man and a woman near 12th Street and Bell Road in Phoenix yesterday. He then fired several shots before taking off. The victim was shot in the forearm and is expected to be okay. So this all happened at a park where a lot of people spend time on the weekend and now they say they feel a little uneasy. I was going to the gym this morning, as a matter of fact, and I saw a cop with his gun drawn, kind of checking things out and I was like, ooh. It doesn't sit well. I, um, I'm a single mom, I have kids at home and I, um, it does make me nervous, that's for sure. Police were able to find Gabbert. He refused to pull over and eventually stopped when he crashed into another car at Central and Bell Road. The driver of the other car is expected to be OK. Officers say Gabbert had recently been released from jail on drug charges. He is now back in jail facing several other charges. New information is coming in this morning about a shooting at a hoarder's house in Tempe. This happened Saturday near Lemon Street and Rural Road. Tempe police say this is a murder suicide. We're told a son shot his father and then turned the gun on himself. This morning we are working to find out their names.